Medical marijuana dispensaries could be open for business in the Commonwealth within the next year. The State Board of Pharmacy approved the applications for five companies. Capital reporter Sarah McCloskey explains what this means for patients. I can't get out of bed because I'm just too stiff to move. Darshan A. Johnson looks like your average 26 year old, but a pain inside is sometimes too much to bear. Your knees are so fragile. A torn ACL put her in the hospital two years ago, making her change her job. I miss being active and working with children every day. So like having to kind of change my lifestyle just because of a simple knee injury. Doctors prescribed Johnson opioids to deal with the pain, but she wanted an Another option. Being able just to find a safer alternative. A decision to open medical marijuana dispensaries could give Virginians like Johnson that alternative. The State Board of Pharmacy approved five companies on Tuesday that will grow and sell products. A mix of both out of state companies that are already regulating in other states and Virginia based companies as well. The prescriptions would come in the form of oils derived from marijuana like capsules, lozenges and lotion, giving patients with cancer, epilepsy and other chronic illnesses an option. Over the past three years, the General Assembly has relaxed its stance on medical marijuana, most recently passing a law this year dubbed the Let Doctors Decide Bill. Jen Michelle Padini from Virginia Normal says the dispensaries are a big step. I think ultimately Virginia will move forward just as other states have with dispensing flour, but, but right now we're taking care of those more vulnerable populations. The companies that have been selected now have to go through background checks before their awards are finalized later this year. The earliest we can see medical marijuana come to market is in about nine months. Reporting in Richmond, I'm Sarah McCluskey. The license for Area 5, which covers Hampton Roads, went to a New York-based company called Columbia Care. Columbia Care currently operates medical marijuana dispensaries in nine states, the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. After passing a background check and getting a license, the company has one year to be up and running. I reached out to Columbia Care to find out what they're planning. When I hear back, I'll be sure to pass on that information to you. A Virginia-based RX Native Pharmaceutical was among the dozens of applicants seeking a license. However, it was not selected. Earlier this month, the company released its proposal for a medical marijuana dispensary in Hampton. The company had a plan to invest $8 million and bring as many as 100 jobs. If you have questions about medical marijuana and how the dispensaries are going to work, there's an event where you can get some answers. It's happening tonight at 7 at the Obendorf Library in Virginia Beach. It is free and open to the public.